Hi students, now let's look at question number 9 of page number 204. Question number 9. The angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of a tower is 30 degree and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree. If the tower is 50 meter high, find the height of the building. Question number 9. Please look at the question. In this question, it is given the angle of elevation of top of a building from the foot of the tower, isn't it? So first we will draw a tower and a building. The, let this be the tower and this be the building, okay? The question is given the angle of elevation of top of the building, the angle of elevation of top of the building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. The angle of elevation of top of the building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. So the angle of elevation is given 30 degree from the foot of the tower. And also it's also given that and the angle of elevation of top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree. Okay. And the angle of elevation of top of the tower from the foot of the uh, building that is what 60 degree it's also given that if the tower is 50 meter high find the height of the building if the tower the height of the building uh, tower is given it is what 50 meter find the height of the building that is the question okay we have to find the height of the building if the tower is 50 meter high find the height of the building so look at this in this figure we can name it as let a b c be one of the triangle and the other triangle is a t c so we have two triangles where for both the triangles a c is a common side isn't it and the length of a c is also not given so we will take let a c be x okay the common side for both the triangles we have two triangles triangle a b c and triangle ATC. In both the triangles, AC is a common side for both the triangles. So that common side as a constant, we are taking it as X. So that we can equate both the equations, isn't it? So let's look at the answer now. First, we will select the triangle in triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, tan 30 is what? Opposite by adjacent, isn't it? tan 30. Opposite it is BC by adjacent it is AC. Tan 30, the value of tan 30 it is 1 by root 3 equal to BC that is H by AC that is X. Now we need to make an equation using X. For that we will take X to the other side and root 3 to the numerator so it will become H root 3. Take it as equation 1. Now from the second triangle we have in triangle ATC, in triangle ATC we have tan 60, tan 60 equal to opposite by adjacent, opposite it is AT by adjacent it is AC, tan 60 we know that is root 3 equal to AT that is 50 by AC that is X. Again, we can make an equation using x, that is x equal to 50 by root 3. So, that is equation, equation 2. Okay. Now, we have two equations. Equation 1, x equal to h root 3 and equation 2, x equal to 50 by root 3. Here, both the equations, LHS, it is same x. So, we can equate RHS side, isn't it? So, from equation 1 and equation 2, we can equate both the equations so that we will get H root 3 equal to 50 by root 3. Isn't it? Therefore, H equal to 50 by root 3 into root 3. Isn't it? That is 
50 by 3. So when we divide 50, we'll get that is what 16.66. Okay, students. Hope it is clear. Please take it to your notebook.